Welcome. In this video, I will explain how to draw cam profile of a radial cam operating with a ruler reciprocating follower. Now, problem is, we I have a profile. Uh, I have to draw profile of a cam operating a ruler reciprocating follower with the following data. Minimum radius of cam is 25 mm, uh, which decides the size of cam. Lift of the follower is given 30 mm. Roller diameter, this roller diameter, small roller diameter, this diameter is given 15 mm. The cam lifts the follower for 120 degree with SHM. So angle of ascent is 120 degree and uh, uh, this uh, motion is of simple harmonic motion. Followed by a dwell period of 30 degree, next then uh, remain, fo uh, follower remain in its position for next 30 degree of cam rotation. After that, the follower lowers down uh, during 150 degree of cam rotation so angle of descent for cam is 150 degree with uniform acceleration and retardation so type of motion is uniform acceleration and retardation now after that uh, remaining angle is uh, is dwell period so remaining angle you can calculate 150 30 and 120 so it becomes th 300 degrees so remaining 60 degrees next 60 degrees again dwell period if the cam rotates at a uniform speed of 150 rpm, calculate the maximum velocity and acceleration of follower during the descent period. That means uh, if cam is rotating with 100, 150 rpm, then we have to determine maximum velocity and acceleration during the descent period only. Now, first step is we have to draw uh, displacement diagram. So, in displacement diagram, motion is initial 120 degree SHM then 30 degree dwell and then 150 degree uh, descent period uh, with uniform acceleration and retardation uh, for that what you have to do is first draw a horizontal and vertical line now this vertical line must be of 30 mm so this size is lift of the follower this vertical line represents lift of the follower so this is 30 mm now horizontal line you can draw uh, any length uh, for the time being now what you have to do is you have to divide this angle of ascent 120 degree uh, and this 150 degree into some equal number of parts so uh, i have decided to divide this uh, line horizontal line into six equal number of parts so 0 to 1 1 to 2 these are equal uh, equal parts now uh, uh, you can take any length for this 0 to 1 1 to 2 2 to 3 and so on uh, normally i take 5 mm to 1 centimeter so you can take either 5 mm or 6 mm or uh, 7 mm whatever you want in between 5 mm to 1 centimeter that's what i take uh, usually so here i have taken 6 mm each this uh, sides are uh, all uh, all are having length of 6 mm so in this way uh, what you have received is this part now this angle so this is uh, here i am representing cam angle uh, angle of rotation of cam so this will represent this 120 degree uh, that is angle of ascent of this cam 120 degree now next for after 6 you give some space so you can give some space so 20 mm uh, that is sufficient that 20 mm you can give and after uh, mark that as this represents the 30 degree dwell period after that again i have to divide this 150 degree 150 degree into some equal number of parts so i am again dividing the same six number of parts like this here uh, whatever i have divided same six number of uh, parts i am taking here also now here again i have taken same length one to, uh, 0 to 1 6 mm again 7 to 8 6 mm so all these parts are of 6 mm length uh, so this will represent angle of descent now remember that this angle is 120 degree and this angle is 150 degree it is not essential that this should be in according to scale that means if uh, 120 degree you are drawing this much length so 150 degree should be larger length that is not required for drawing uh, displacement diagram now complete this rectangle i have completed this rectangle now uh, you can draw uh, vertical lines from each point from each point you draw vertical lines in this way you, you have completed uh, some part now for angle of ascent this is uh, simple harmonic motion for that uh, this this 30 mm this height is 30 mm take middle point middle point of this third, uh, this line and draw a semicircle now i have drawn a semicircle of radius 15 mm now divide this semicircle into same number of equal parts uh, here we have taken all parts as 
uh, all angle of FN decent at all I, I have taken as six equal parts so divide this semicircle into six number of equal parts and mark this uh, from here from this is zero so zero one two three and so on that that way you just mark all these points draw horizontal lines from all these points and uh, already you have drawn vertical lines from all these points now intersection of corresponding lines will be uh, your uh, point in this uh, simple harmonic motion for example i have drawn a line horizontal line from point one and from vertical line from point one intersection is this point so this is my my first point one dash similarly you will get two dash similarly three dash four dash five dash and then six dash six from six vertical line from six horizontal line intersection six dash now uh, for uh, at this point follower remain at highest position uh, ruler will remain at highest position here to here because it is a dual period it is uh, it does not displace after this it will come down so for that mark that point as seven dash now uh, for uniform acceleration and retardation this is these points are obtained for simple harmonic motion now in this uh, descent period it is moving with uniform acceleration and retardation for that take middle line middle of this so one two three third one this one divide this line into same number of equal parts same number of equal parts that is six so one two three four five six parts i have divided now from seven dash start drawing uh, start joining line seven dash to this point first point uh, of this so intersection of this line with this vertical line eight the first line that will be your first point for uniform acceleration and retardation and uh, for, uh, now join this point with seven dash now join this seven dash so this point will be your second point so i have drawn this nine dash now third will be this middle point will automatically third point so this is my third point now after this you start drawing from last this diagonal opposite point that is 13 from 13 now join this point so this is already 10 dash, 10 dash we obtained so join this point and this intersection this one so when you join this point so this point will be intersection with 11 this point will be your next point and after that join 13 with this point this point and you will get this one as next point next point now 13 dash this will be the last point now what you have to do is you have to draw a smooth curve through all these points so i have drawn smooth curve this dimension is given 30 mm so this height is 30 mm now draw smooth curve from all these points represent motion of follower during upward motion and this represent follower motion during downward motion so this is initially follower displacement is zero then follower is displaced by one one dash that means this much is displaced then uh, follower displaced in next uh, when it reaches cam reaches here follower reaches at this point and when cam reaches at this follower reaches him at middle point and so on so this will represent follower motion here follower motion and this is ang cam angle rotation now you require all these displacements so one to one dash two to two dash three to three dash all these displacements you are re you re need so keep it ready for drawing uh, cam profile now to draw cam profile you require displacement diagram also but because of space restriction i have not drawn uh, displacement diagram here i am directly drawing cam profile to draw the cam profile here uh, it is written minimum radius of cam is given 25 mm now this cam is uh, operating with a roller follower therefore uh, you have to add uh, you require prime circle this radius of base circle but you require radius of prime circle for that what you have to do is uh, you have to uh, take radius of this uh, uh, this roller uh, and add this here so 25 plus radius will be 7.5 so you have to add this 7.5 mm here 25 and that that way you will get uh, 32.5 as radius of prime circle so you have to draw that prime circle that is a circle of radius uh, 32.5 mm so this is a circle of 32.32.5 mm uh, radius now here direction of motion of cam is not given so uh, let us assume this cam is rotating clockwise direction so i am assuming that cam is rotating clockwise direction so what we have to do is we draw follower uh, motion or profile in anti clockwise direction so first draw a vertical line 
this vertical line from this vertical line uh, you should uh, uh, you should divide this entire 360 degree into all this according to this motion so first is 120 degree with shm so draw 120 degree angle this is 120 degree angle next is 30 degree uh, which is dwell period and then next is 150 degree which is angle of descent and remaining 60 degree that is again dwell period now again uh, this is angle of ascent from here to here when cam is rotating clockwise direction so when cam moves from here then this point will reach here so this angle this total angle is 120 degree and this angle is 150 degree now what you have to do is again divide this angle into same number of equal parts uh, in which you have divided the displacement diagram so in displacement diagram we have divided the angle of ascent and angle of descent by six equal parts so divide this angle also into same six equal parts so i have divided angle of ascent for six equal parts and mark these points as uh, from here 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 now uh, here follower uh, will be at maximum displaced condition uh, and it will remain same position from in this same position to so mark this point as 7 and again divide this uh, divide this angle of descent 150 degree into six equal parts and uh, mark this point 7 8 9 10 11 12 and 13 now remaining is uh, 60 uh, 60 degree dwell period now next step is uh, draw a circle here which center this point uh, uh, this uh, circle is of uh, diameter 15 mm that means radius 7.5 mm this circle you have drawn now at one from this point at one extend this line and mark a point one dash now this one one dash is same as obtained in displacement diagram in displacement diagram you will get one to one dash a distance that distance uh, take that uh, distance and mark here here to here this two distance this small distance is one to one dash similarly you uh, you can obtain two to two dash from here this point to this point is uh, 2 to 2 dash uh, this is uh, same as obtained it from displacement diagram from 3 to 3 dash 4 to 4 dash in that way you just mark so uh, from displacement diagram all these 5 5 dash 4 4 dash etc etc will be obtained from the same displacement diagram so this is for ang uh, ascent part now it remains our uh, next period is this is a dwell period so after that it is dwell period 7 dash so 6 to 6 dash and 7 to 7 dash will be same same length and after that it will start uh, coming down so 8 to 8, 8 dash 9 to 9 dash and so on so 13 will be same point so 12 to th uh, from this point to this point this will uh, remain this circular part and all other part will be uh, a curved so from all these center points from 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash etc you, sh you have to draw this uh, circle of diameter 15 mm from all this i have drawn circle of diameter uh, diameter 15 mm now what you have to do is you have to start from this point this point and you have to draw a smooth curve which is tangent to all these circles so you have to draw a smooth curve which is tangent to all this circle so first uh, draw uh, for uh, ascent from up to here to here it is ascent and uh, this part is a semicircle uh, part of a circle that means you take center here and this radius up to here take this length and when you draw an arc of this uh, uh, center and this radius you will get this part and after that again you have to draw uh, a smooth curve uh, which is tangent to all these circles so you have to draw smooth curve which is tangent which is just touching this uh, semicircle you have to draw this uh, curve as uh, curve as tangent to all these semicircles. Now, from this point to this point, again uh, it is a dwell period, therefore, it is a circular part. So, take this center and uh, this length as radius and draw an arc. So, you will get this part. This is again circular part and this is circular part. And this is what the cam profile. So, this is what you are required to draw. This is the cam profile required. Cam, prof cam profile. Uh, rpm of cam is 150 rpm so from that angular velocity of cam you can obtain it is uh, 2 pi n by 60 so n is 150 15.7 radian per second now lift of the follower is given 30 mm so i have converted it into meters now angle of descent we require uh, uh, maximum velocity and maximum acceleration during descent period uh, when it is coming down so from here 150 degree so angle of descent is 150 degree so convert this into radians 2.62 radian 
pi radian is equal to 180 degree accordingly you can convert this maximum velocity is given by this relation to omega s divided by phi d now put all these values omega s and phi d in radians and in that way you are getting maximum velocity as 0 0.36 meter per second now acceleration uh, here from here to here it is accelerating uh, from up to middle part and after that it is retarding from 10 to 13 so follower is first coming down with uh, with some acceleration and after middle point it start decelerating and then at when it reaches to 13 its velocity become zero so uh, acceleration remain constant throughout here to here acceleration remain constant and from here to here retardation remain constant and this acceleration and retardation which is constant uh, here is given by 4 omega square s divided by 5 square d so put all these values already you have calculated omega is 15.7 square into 4 s is 0 0.03 30 mm and 5 d angle of descent 150 degree in radius is 2.62 when you solve this you will get 4.31 meter per second square uh, this is what you are required to calculate thank you for watching this video